Hello and welcome to the video showing you how to use Google Calendars and the iPads Calendar app to create an assignment sheet. Um, this is going to be a quick demo. I'm going to go right through my PDF that I created. Uh, a couple things that you might want to begin with is a copy of an assignment sheet. I keep mine in a spreadsheet, um, which in this case is very useful. I also have my roster in a spreadsheet. And ideally, you'll have your students' email addresses. If not, you can get by with just a list of your students. So step number one is to log into your account, your email account, and then use this top bar and go over to Calendar. OK. And then our first step is to go ahead and create a new calendar. And I'm going to call this calendar Demo Calendar. You may type in a description, assignments for trigonometry, 2012-13. Okay, I'm going to create the calendar. Give it a second, it'll pop up right here. And here's a nice little trick. If you go to this down arrow, the first option is display only this calendar. So we'll hide all my other calendars. So I just have this calendar. I'm going to move over to April 1st and start entering assignments here. Okay, now my first assignment up here is April 1st. So I'm going to copy my assignment, switch back to the calendar, double click, paste it in the untitled event. And then I'm going to go back to my assignment sheet and I'm going to copy over my homework number and the homework assignment. Copy, let's click back and go to paste. I've been using control C for copy and control V for paste. And there we have our first day. Now, because I have my assignment sheet set up in a spreadsheet, this is one convenient thing. I can select both the classwork and the homework in one step, copy it, control C, go over here to untitled event, control V, and then out of this untitled event, I shall copy out just the homework part, cut it out rather, control X and control V down in my description. And again, I'm gonna make it look pretty by taking out the extra tabs and putting in a space. So you could easily do this pretty quickly if you have your assignment sheet already made in whatever format you normally use. Control C, go back to the calendar, paste, Control X for cut, Control V for paste, delete the extra tabs, and there I did three days fairly quickly. Um, now, once you have all your assignments placed in it, okay, we are going to Go ahead and share this with our students. And the way you do that is, again, the down arrow. Go to share this calendar. You do not need any of this top part checked off. OK, and this is where depends if you have a list of emails or not. If you just have a roster, for example, my first student is Kelly Fujimoto. OK, you could just type in her name, start typing her name, and you start seeing all the Kellys. And there's Kelly Fujimoto. Okay, and then you can just tab, hit tab, and then it'll add her. So you can keep doing this with your roster. Lansing Sugita, I have listed next. Lansing, okay, and there she is. I hit tab. Okay, she gets added to the list. However, if you do have a list of your students, and I'm going to shift click to select them all, control C to copy. I'm going to go back to the calendar. I'm going to go to control V and I pasted them all in. Notice there's no commas or anything, but that's okay. And now if I click on add person, okay, it'll add the entire class in. Okay. And it was even smart enough not to duplicate Kelly Fujimoto and Lansing Sugita. So that was convenient. Okay, and then all you would do from here is hit save. 
And I'm not going to do that because it'll send all these people an email saying I've shared this demo calendar with them, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit cancel. But again, from this point, you would hit save. Okay, once you've shared it with your students, okay, they have to do one more thing. And I sent them an email telling them to type in this URL into their browser www.google.com calendar iPhone select. And when you do that, you get a thing that looks like this. Now, there should be under shared calendars since it would be a shared calendar. And basically, I need to refresh this because I opened it up earlier. There's my demo calendar. All they have to do is make sure they have it checked on. And now it'll show up in their iPad. And to give you an idea of what it will look like on your iPad, um, here's a monthly view. Okay, all I have is March here, the end of March. But here I have each day okay, on the iPad calendar. Okay, after they do the iPhone sync, Okay, they need to open up their calendar app. If they already had it open, you may need to hit this refresh button up here. Okay, so I borrowed Marcy Miura's iPad to get these screenshots. So here it shows up. My trigonometry assignment sheet shows up in her calendar. And now if you look at day view, it's kind of nice because it shows, for example, here's the title that we had in the event. Here's my other notes that we put under description. Notice it has this more button, so it only fits this much in. Okay, well, if you click on that more button, then it expands it down, and now you see the whole thing. Okay, so that's really convenient. And my final screenshot here. They can also, and this works in the month view as well, if you click on your event title, okay, it'll show the notes down here as well. Okay, so very convenient way to get your calendar or your assignment sheet into their iPad calendar.